Hey everybody, Grimer here, coming at you once again from the Zawa server. Now let's get into this. Now I am here where I last left off uh, in the previous episode, which by the way, uh, previous episode was episode 19. It came out on a Saturday, which is a little weird, but if you didn't catch it, if you like only tuned in on Friday and you're like, hey, uh, you know, what's up with this? You skipped an episode. I didn't. There's actually an episode that came out on sa Saturday as a way of saying thank you for uh, the channel hitting 600 subscribers. Uh, I did a whole entire extra episode where we added box turtles to the reptile exhibit. Uh, so, uh, if you haven't checked that out, uh, just go to my channel and check it out real quick. But today, we're going to be doing some other fun stuff. Now, I've gotten quite a few uh, names, actually, for tree frogs, and I thought of a home for them, and I pitched the idea in episode 19 uh, about uh, maybe embedding them in a hillside, and uh, got a little favorable response for that. So, I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Now, this place right here, I haven't actually changed. I talked about building a park behind it, and I'm having second thoughts, because there's a little open area right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this here for right now the way it is. And if we get an animal that I can squeeze in here, like maybe a smaller one, uh, we'll make a home for it right here. And this will be another exhibit instead of making it a park. I think that'll work, work good. Plus that uh, that hippo exhibit, there's a little fence right there where a path could go down. And it could split the exhibits, actually. I think that would be pretty nifty. Uh, so I was just going to leave that be. This part, I have no excuse. I, was, I just kind of forgot to uh, do that up this part with the bushes. I'm sorry. I'll get to it. <laughs> I will. I promise. I will. Please. All right. So today in this episode, though, we're going to be working on the other side of the reptile exhibit. Hi, Vander Torvalsonson. Hi, Steve Irwin and TikTok. Hi, Shelly. Uh, hi, 600 subs, and thank you. <laughs> this was what we added last exhibit, or uh, last uh, last episode, was uh, was the box turtles that Maddie gave us. Thank you again, Maddie, for that. That was amazing. Uh, hi, Indy. How's it going in there? How are you doing in there? Uh, uh, what do we need to... Ooh, the anaconda. Ooh, he's coming at me. This thing kind of pokes through the glass every once in a while. And it sort of freaks me out. Ka, that was what we named him. Hey, Ka, how's it going? And uh, and Harley, you're looking cool, man. All right, so this is where we're going to be working today. Um, and if you notice, there's a lot less dogs, okay? Uh, uh, I, I moved my dogs. Some of them, there's a couple over by the petting zoo. There's uh, a lot of them are underground. But as far as my wife's dogs, since she's no longer on the server, and, uh, you know, she can't really move them to some place, and I can't move them uh, by picking it, you know, by right-clicking on everything, I, um... I took care of them. No, it's not what you're thinking. No, it's not that. I literally took care of them. Uh, I I pushed them. Check this out. I, I literally pushed them up like half slabs, and then I pushed them down the hole where we, we have all of our uh, farms down underground, and I stuffed them all underground, and I slowly pushed them one by one, one at a time, until finally we got them here, and here's all of our dogs, all the purple collar ones. They're still alive. I didn't take care of them that way. No, I didn't harm the dogs, no. There was one red colored one that actually was her. She must have forgot to dye that color. Uh, so, yeah, they're all there. The rest of mine are actually uh, down there, <laughs> uh, just chilling. So, the dogs are out of the way right now because I need this area to do some, uh, some building. So, in this area right here where this set also has to go to, I need to clear that out. I, I tried doing a quick, quick terraform. This looks terrible. This is not the finished product. Um... In this area, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tree frogs and any other little objects or, or sorry, little, um, not objects, but little animals that I can find along the way. I'll probably leave a couple exhibits open in case I find them. I think I saw like a rat in the swamp. That would probably work here too. Something or another. Little things that can fit in little exhibits uh, like tree frogs um, in this hillside here. Now the hillside itself, I'm going to build up a little bit, which I did a little bit back here. So it kind of swells a little bit more, and I'll probably continue that over this way. But I have it kind of curving, so I might have to build some of these exhibits on like a little bit of a slant. Could be a little extra difficult, but we'll figure it out. Oh, here's some more signs. One more sign. Uh, Minecraft got me feeling so free. One more sign. <laughs> okay. Uh, music. It keeps saying music, music. I don't know if that's a person or if that's just Maddie or if they're just impl implying that music is playing. But those signs are coming down today because this thing has to come down. This is our, uh, our starter shack. This is Grimer and Hellcat's starter box. Watch out for snakes. When we first got here, snakes are a real problem. But this has to come down. Now, the nether portal here was built by uh, by Alyssa Muffins. Uh, and it's been very helpful. In fact, I, I, I'm liking it. I think it's great. I probably will have to build some type of... Because because it's, it's, it's kind of near a storage area. The storage area isn't going anywhere. But we might have to hide the entrance a little bit more. But uh, I kind of like where it is. Uh, so maybe I'll move it down there and try to link it up, or I'll build it into a building maybe up here or something. I, I don't know. I'll figure that one out in a little bit. But uh, as far as this part right here, this is where I'm going to be working on. I want to at least get the frogs put in today. Uh, but I also want to use up this space right here because it's right past the reptile exhibit. It's kind of 
in the center-ish part of the zoo right here because it's going to extend up here. You know, let's zoom in right here. The zoo is going to extend all the way up here and all the way across to over here too. So it's not exactly center. It's more in the southern part. So there would probably have to be one more location somewhere up here. But I'm thinking about adding restrooms. I mean, that's something that I don't really see in most people's builds is that they don't bother building restrooms. So when guests are here, uh, where are they going to do their business? You know, like <laughs> you're in the middle of watching some majestic drafts or something like that. And obviously like, man, I really got to drop a deuce. Where do you go for that? You know, you got to go to a restroom. So that's uh, where I was going to build this is probably right about here, actually. Figured that'd probably be a nice little feature, a little bit more realistic. And maybe even uh, along with the little exhibits over here, make some kind of like food court-esque area. I don't really know. Maybe on this little peninsula back here, or something like that. I kind of want to. I kind of want to make that a little bit more, you know, functional, you know, for a zoo rather than just here's another exhibit. So it might require me to build some buildings, buildings instead of moving animals in. But all of this though will eventually lead over to that island area over there, where I might have to flatten that that hillside out a bit. And that's where the uh, that's where the aquarium is going to be, and that's going to be a doozy of, an, of a of a build. That's going to be a multi-parter hole. Oh. Um, I do have an idea in mind. It's a it's a similar build to something I built on my own separately uh, on uh, on the Xbox 360 edition way back in the day, and I liked the build so much. I was like, you know what? That would probably make a really awesome aquarium. I'll be bringing it over into this world. But anyway, I need to get to work on clearing out some of this stuff uh, because none of this needs to stay here. I had to fill in an underground lake that was right here, actually. So none of this stuff is gonna be sticking around. I might have a little bit of an overhang with like some supports kind of added to it, you know, because there has to be a, a way that this uh, this hillside's staying up and not just f collapsing in on the walkway. But there's gonna be a walkway that kind of curves along it, and then that's gonna lead to like maybe the stands or food court kind of area right here, and then the uh, restrooms right here as well. So this will be more of like a socializing area right here next to the horrifying, terrifying anaconda. I figured that'd be great for the whole family. What do you think, huh? What do you think? Good, good. Oh, now you're silent. Oh, no, nope, never mind. All right, so let me get to work on getting the path put in here, and then uh, and then we'll pick up from there. All right, bam! Check that out. Path is put in. I'm thinking that looks all right. It kind of curves a little bit along the hillside there. Uh, Ka is making all sorts of racket. I'm gonna have to put up with that though, because uh, every once in a while, uh, he or she, I think it's a she actually, uh, kind of moseys on over to the right side of her uh, enclosure and hisses at me like a whole bunch. Probably still mad that we even put her in there. All right, so I'm thinking about something like this. I raised it up a couple blocks. And uh, I added this like little support in here. I think I like how this looks right here. I'm going to try to do that a little bit more throughout this. Maybe even separating the enclosures. So the first one I'm thinking is right here. This might be the tree frog win right here. As close to the snake as possible. It'll really freak them out, you know? <laughs> uh, but there, like I said, I'm going to try to put at least one, maybe even two more enclosures in here. Just some little things that people can read. Or not read, uh, look at uh, while they're waiting for their loved ones to, doing, to finish doing their business over here. Which will be in a future episode. I'll get to building that. Uh, all right, so I'm thinking a tree frog exhibit, hey? Uh-huh. Uh, I actually don't think I've ever built a tree frog exhibit. <laughs> so let's see. I'm thinking let's just start carving into here a little bit. Let's try to make this, uh, yeah, something like this. I might have to raise the elevation up a little bit more to make this all fit correctly. Let's just bring this back like a so. Looks pretty good. All right, now you have to uh, you have to ignore the chickens for the time being because uh, well, I'm getting close to the edge right there. You can see the grass. Ignore the chickens for the time being because uh, yeah, they're going to be a little they're going to be clucking away. But I'll I'll, fig I'll figure out where to put those guys too to make them uh, less annoying. Let's go ahead and extend this uh, hill a little bit more and break my legs. All right, sweet, awesome. Now. How am I going to fit a tree frog exhibit in here? So I'm thinking, I mean, I could have lined it similar to how I lined it in there. I think that actually I probably could. I like the way that the spruce wood looks with the glass around it. I think it looks kind of cool. Um, so let's see. If I were to do that, I kind of want to add a support right here. Uh, something like that. And then maybe bring it out one. Maybe. And I might have to do doodad do up this a little bit to make it fit a little bit better. But that means that I got to bring this over. Something like that. Yeah. So that's where the enclosure... Actually, you know what? No. No, hold on. Time out. I said at the beginning of this, some of them are going to have to be a little bit diagonal. And dang it, this one's going to be a little bit diagonal. So let's uh, let's go ahead and put the, that dirt back for now. I'll probably end up ripping that out here in just a second. Uh, hmm. Uh, let's make this connect to like right about here. Which means that I'm going to have to do that. And then, yeah, I'm going to have to raise this up just a wee bit more. 
Yeah, because I want to have this big open area, kind of like this, actually. I want to have it to be about this size, actually, so I can actually look around and see inside them. Uh, see inside the exhibit, actually, you know, so... Uh, let's go ahead and start carving this back just a bit so that I can start putting the top portion where the glass actually is going to sit. Um, hmm. Uh, this is going to be a lot of extra work, but I'm just going to do something like this. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And then uh, for this side, something like that. You know, actually, I probably didn't need to do that. Hold on, let me let me pick this up. I don't like that anymore. It's it's kind of bugging me. Um, something like that. Mm. Now this dirt kind of has to go too. There, something like that. That should be fine. So it's got a little bit of a diagonal edge to it. Uh, not much, but uh, this needs to be then be carved back as well. Mhm. Mm so there's a little hole right there that I got to patch up. Pink, just like that. Good, perfect. All right, so I'm thinking that's going to be where the exhibit's going to be for the tree frogs. Now, I do have to kind of not mark this back just a little bit farther because I don't really like it like that. I do have to carve out the sides of this, too, because I need to change the blocks up on the sides. I might go with green terracotta or even add the brown terracotta that we had going on over there. That, that looked pretty good. Um, yeah, this has got to be filled in, obviously, so i got to take all this out. I got my shovel going super fast, so I mean, it, <laughs> it kind of knocks out parts of the wall that I don't really mean to. Is that going to be deep enough for the exhibit? I think it may be one more. I think one more should do it just fine. And then one more, then even more to knock out the, uh, or to do the back wall. It's a pretty big exhibit for just a bunch of tree frogs, you know. I think I only have like one or two of these things too, so. Um, you yeah, know, actually that might be fine, because then the, the wall itself will be right here. Which will leave glass here. One, two. It'll be three on this side and a little bit more on this side. It should be fine. I can do that up some kind of de uh, decoration in there. Maybe. You know what? Let me see what it looks like with one more remove. Okay. One more remove. Man, those chickens are annoying. Alright. Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably good. Now, how do I make this look not like crap? <laughs> This looks like it's got a skylight or something like that. So I gotta fix this for sure while maintaining the shape of the pen. So let me outline the, the pen. Now I might need to actually dig this up one further because I'm, I'm gonna have to add lights and stuff like that in this exhibit. So I gotta think about that. But this has to be covered. So like I said, this has to be brought up one more at least. Something like that. And let's see, get that in there, good. Like that. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. That should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. Just like that. All right. That, that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, just drop a torch in there because it looks like it's getting a little dark. It could be because the sun's going down. But yeah, I'm thinking that looks all right. Now, tree frogs. Uh, also, ooh, actually, hold on. No, I have I have concrete or not concrete? Uh, uh, stone bricks for the base of this thing, which I do have to go back through and change up just a little bit so that. Um, they're a little weathered and worn a little bit. But for right now, I'll just slap the base ones down in there. Okay, perfect. There's your tree frog exhibit. Now, how do I get this thing all decorated up? I'm thinking the green terracotta is going to work out pretty good. I have six whole blocks of it left. Check this out. One, two, three. One, two, three. Done. Perfect. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so I need to get more green terracotta, obviously. Let me... This thing also needs to come down. But let me let me go take a nap here in this place one last time, possibly. Uh, because I need the day to be here so I don't get blown up while I'm working on a tree frog exhibit. Jeez. Alright, so let's see. Do I have any more green terracotta left at all? Let me wolf down chicken quick while I'm down here. Um, I don't know if I do. I, I think I have cactus green. Yeah, I have regular terracotta. And I have uh, cactuses. Cacti. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Boom, got it. Alright, let's go cook these guys up real fast and then get some more green terracotta. And bam, just like that, I got uh, got another stack of green terracotta. Let's go throw this up here and see what it looks like. Uh, huh. I guess it would also look kind of cool if I did add dirt in here to make it look like it was sort of like uh, grown into the wall, you know? Um, oh, actually, I didn't. I don't really actually need to waste that right here because that's going to be like a corner. And of course, I got rid of all my dirt. Why wouldn't I have kept? Oh, jeez, I just placed that wrong thing. Why wouldn't I have kept that on me? Let's put that right there. Line this whole thing right here. And then same thing with this in the corner here. I don't really need that to be that because I just need to be dirt or something. Save on some resources. 
Okay, what does that look like? I mean, it's good for a base. It's good for the foundation. I mean, it's not really perfect, but I mean, it'll work. Um, I do need to do that up the uh, ceiling, though, because that is bugging me really bad. Um, I'm going to need to make a lot more green terracotta if I'm going to start doing the interior of these uh, pens out of that. Or these exhibits. All right, so let's go ahead and remove that right there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually leave this one. Oop, not like that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this one like flat across here. And then um, I'll have the redstone lamp jutting down out of it. Which will probably be right here. Something like that. Yeah, that way it'll light up the whole area a little bit. Um, okay, so now I gotta remove this stuff here. Now, tree frogs, I, I don't know if they can swim. I don't know these things. Actually, I can check this because I'm pretty sure I have a tree frog, but I gotta know this ahead of time because if I'm gonna put a water feature inside here, uh, I wanna make sure it doesn't kill the frogs. Uh, so, where is the tree frog? Oh, it's right there in the first spot. Okay, sweet, I didn't even have to look for it. Okay, uh, let me get my uh, little book out here. Look at this little guy, isn't he adorable? He is a male, he's red-eyed, and he hops, but it doesn't say anything about him swimming, which means I am not gonna give him anything to, uh, anything to swim on, or swim in. He does like, uh, like the tire swing for enrichment, so maybe I'll squirt that in there someplace. Look at him, he's stuck on a wall, he's stuck on nothing. He is the one, he is floating. Let me grab that guy real quick. That was pretty freaky. All right, so he clings to walls, it looks like. I think I have more of those things. Let me go throw this someplace where I can find it easily. Uh, let's just chuck it down there. Let me go find the other ones if I have any other ones real quick. All right, check it out. I actually have five of these things. Nice. Uh, which means I need five names. I'll comb the comments section. I know somebody left a bunch of different names. I think one was Pepe. I'm definitely doing that, by the way. Pepe the Frog, it has to happen. Um, all right, so they cannot swim, it looks like. So that means no to um no to uh, adding water to this thing frog legs how did i get these i didn't i didn't kill them did i i didn't i don't think i did how did i get frog legs i haven't killed any of these things <laughs> did they drop frog legs randomly tree frog tree frog no i didn't i didn't kill him he's in there how did i get frog legs i didn't that's very strange i'd have to almost murder the frog to get it but that's I'm just gonna throw that in there next to the reptile meat. Don't question where that came from. It came from the snakes. All the snakes in the area. I don't know how I got frog legs. That's very disturbing, though. Um, okay, so I'm not gonna be putting any water in here because of that. Uh, maybe I'll put, like, blue wool or something to kind of imitate water. Or glass or something like that. Because I don't really want to kill these things. But we're gonna just uh, drop a bunch of, uh, a bunch of uh, grass in here, I think, is gonna be the winner, actually. Get some more grass in the hot bar there. Okay, so there's some grass. Now, this is going to be a lot of foliage, a lot of, uh, do I have any jungle leaves? Uh, I have willow leaves. Uh, I have nine jungle leaves. It's not a lot, is it? All right, so let's, uh, let's give these guys something to actually stand on a little bit, you know? So that they climb on things. Let's do, do a little something like that in the corner. Nothing really fancy. Something, it'll look like a little fake palm tree, kind of in the background, you know? And I can't, I can't strip this, otherwise I absolutely would love to. I don't suppose I have any jungle wood anywhere, do I? Because that would actually probably make way more sense than, uh, than the dark, or than the oak wood that I put in there. Hopefully I got it. I don't, uh, my inventory is such a mess. Uh, I don't see any jungle wood. Oh no, I did get, I did get something though. I got this, uh, palm wood. Let's use that. Oh, I do have jungle wood right there. Let's use a palm wood. I mean, why not? It's going into like a makeshift palm tree, so it makes sense, right? Uh, in fact, yeah, I'm going to grab the rest of that stuff because I'll probably use that throughout the rest of the build. I'll just squirt all that in my inventory. Uh, yeah, that makes makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, it's palm wood, so uh, I'm sure the frogs will love it. Let's get rid of this oak. Who puts oak on a palm tree? <clears throat> I did it in my entire Babel build on Vintage Craft. <laughs> uh, and let's... Uh, um, um, hold on, let's bring this back out just a little bit like that. Okay, good. Now, I don't want them to have a whole lot of places to hide in the back because you can't really see them back there. So I want to um, I want to jazz this up just a bit so that it's raised up and uh, and not so uh, not so flat in the back. But And uh, right there should be fine. Okay, so this is starting to look all right. I'm thinking this looks pretty good for the... the uh, the tree frogs are ready. It needs a little bit of grass and foliage and a little block uh, variation in the grounds, but in fact, one thing I could put in the grounds to uh, make this look 
pretty cool is uh, the leaf blocks that uh, I've started putting in in other places. It really makes it look like it's a forested area. Uh, instead of just throwing the leaves that you get from biomes of plenty on top of it, which I can still do, but um, let's go ahead and dig this up too. Bam. Okay, I like that. Good. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and sprinkle in maybe one of these things in here somewhere too. Uh, actually, gonna remove one of these guys and just get a darker one in there. I think that adds a little bit to it. So uh, now they're not gonna trample the ground a whole lot, but I am gonna add just like one or two of these guys somewhere in here like that. This has to get changed though if I do that. Dang it. Because you can see that block right there. Perfect. Got it. Nailed it. All right. So um, I don't want to. I guess Podzel would actually work in this because it is supposed to be kind of a or more damp area, but uh, I don't want to go nuts on it. So something like this. Yeah. Okay. That actually works better than I thought it was going to. Now, one thing that I want to mix in here that because I think it makes it uh, a little bit more vibrant color, is green concrete powder. Okay, that's something I haven't really added anywhere in the zoo yet, but I think that it will work for making this pop a little bit. So, uh... <laughs> See, here we go. Uh, I need to make green concrete. Uh, so for that, I'm going to need... some. Oh, my inventory. Oh, boy. Um, what can I get rid of? Where's the stone chest right there? Let's get rid of some of that stuff. This stuff can go in here for right now. Okay, I need that gravel back now. Let me get the gravel, and then I need to get uh, more cactus green. I need to go hunt down more cacti, too, for for sure, because I'm going to be using probably a lot of that as I go. There is a desert. I know where to get it. It's just a matter of going out there and actually getting it. I'll, maybe I'll do that, you know, off camera. All right, I just grabbed one. I don't need a lot. There's a small area that I'm trying to cover. All right, so let's get over here. Green concrete powder. Bam, got eight pieces. That'll be plenty for what I'm going for. Let's go ahead and just drop the sand back in there and drop the gravel back in here. And let's get back up there and throw this in there someplace. Now, this is a very similar texture to grass, and that's why I like using it, especially when you sprinkle it in with grass. It kind of blends it together nice. Uh, this is actually um, uh, a really good thing to use. See, like right there, it's a similar texture, but... They are obviously this one's brighter. Uh, let me sleep real quick, I think, because it's a. Uh, oh no, it's not. It's not time for me to sleep yet. Uh, but this is a little bit brighter now. When you're building like in the desert, I did this in my Babel build too. The grass is like yellow. It kind of sucks to add a little bit of greenery to it. Actually, really works. So b putting down green concrete uh, powder is an excellent way to get more green in your build when you're building in the desert. So um, yeah, that's a helpful little tip for you guys if you're building out there. Um, I have. I think it's in this backpack. I have. Yes, slabs. That's what I'm looking for. Although, yeah, let's just drop one right there. I think that's pretty good. And right here, that's fine, too. Okay, perfect. I think that's looking pretty good. Can I sleep yet? Yes, I can. Um, let's get daytime in here again. And then I'm thinking that build is just about finished. The last thing to do is to open up Maddie's uh, backpack of goodies here and see what I can sprinkle in here. I'm thinking these bushes are probably going to look pretty good, especially right here. And uh, I know where else. <laughs> Because I don't really have a place to put them. Um, uh, let's see. Let's. Uh, oh, no, I'm trying to. I'm trying. Trying to drop the backpack into the backpack. That's kind of a dumb move. Uh, oh, one thing I could do to add water to this place is I could put a lily pad on top of it, and then they can't actually get into the water, which isn't a bad idea. But you know, what? I think I'm going to skip it. I don't really want to hurt them. I was talking about uh, putting the yeah, the tire swing in here. Is that a thing that I can do? That's that's really going to mess me up, or is let's see a tire. I can do that. That's easily uh, easy enough, and I can do that too. In fact, I need two of them, and that makes five. So I really only have to do that recipe once. All right, let me go make this real quick. Didn't actually need to go anywhere. I had all the stuff actually on me to make that. So, all right, let's get up here and place this tire swing and see uh, see what this looks like. If this looks bad or if this looks good. What if I put it right there? I think that looks all right. I mean, it's low enough that the tree frogs can get on it too. You know, and I, I, I yeah. I can't put it over in front of this because that's where the light's going to go. I could put it off to the side. Off to the side might not work, or might be might not be that bad either. Let me pick this thing up. Now, I kind of need a temporary block. Does this wire, like, place? Oh, it does. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, okay, it doesn't go across. Okay, well, that's giving me some ideas. I mean, how handy is it just to get, like, a, even a line down to another block, you know, for, like, suspension bridges and stuff like that? That's really good. Okay, I'm going to definitely be keeping those in mind. Um, let me, uh, let me get a block put down here temporarily, and then I'm going to place that right there. 
maybe facing the people. Like that, yep, okay. And then let's take this up. All right, there we go, bam, there's your uh, there's your frog exhibit. Uh, I do have a little bit of grass, something that I could put right there. Let's see, where's, um, what can I throw there that's not too daunting? This thing, I don't know what this is, but I like it. It's a, a kor koru, koru? Boom, perfect, I like it. All right, so there's your foliage uh, added to the whole thing. I think that's basically it. That's all I'm gonna need to do. I mean, it looks like a it's a really small exhibit. I know that, but uh, but I kind of like it. I think it looks good. Let's uh, let's get this this backpack open and drop some of the building blocks back in here. Uh, those things can go in there too. Oh, I had them in there the whole time. Look at that, go me. All right, so then I just need the glass, which I actually stored down here. Let me go grab that real quick, and then we're gonna drop those in. Oh, I also need the names for the frogs. Let me look that up too. All right, I got the glass in hand ready to go, but what I also need to bring with me is the actual frogs themselves, and for that, I'm going to need five different name tags. I'm going to need five different names, and luckily, thank you, Irrelevant, if you're watching this, because in one of the episodes, I don't actually remember asking for frog names, but uh, but you listed, like, five of them, uh, and it just so happens that I have five frogs, so by default, you're the only one who listed names, mainly because I wasn't even asking for them, but thank you anyway. This is why uh, this is why I always encourage people to name animals, even if I don't have them in the exhibits, because I might end up using them. Now, this was from a couple episodes ago, but you left a comment uh, telling me to name some of these one, uh, tree frogs a certain way. I have no idea if these are male or female. I know that first one I checked was male, but beyond that, I don't know. So some of the guys might be named female names, some of the males might be named, uh, or some of the females might be named vice versa. You know, uh, uh, you know, you get the idea. All right, so one of the names that he uh, suggested, and this is a duh one, is Kermit. <laughs> so uh, that's an obvious one, for Kermit the Frog. Everyone knows the, the Muppets there. So, all right, and then another one he, he listed. Now, some of these I don't actually know uh, all of them. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, he actually li listed six. He listed six. Okay, so what, I'm going to name this one. Uh, I'm going to skip one of them here. I'm going to name this one uh, Mr. Toad. Now, I wish that snake wasn't above me hissing because that's really annoying, but there's Mr. Toad. In fact, you know what? We're going to go over here so that snake's not constantly hissing in my face. Man, that guy's loud and annoying. Okay, so there's Mr. Toad, there's uh, Kermit, and then uh, there's one on here. Now, I guess Mr. Toad and uh, this one I'm going to be naming are from, uh, what does he say? The Wind and the Willows, which I'm, I'm not familiar with. I have not seen that. I, maybe I'm missing out. If I am, let me know down in the comment section. I'd really like to know. All right, uh, so this one is going to be called uh, Prince... Uh, how do you spell this? Uh, Naveen? If that, I hope that's right. That's how you spelt it in the comment. I'm going with it. It's Prince Naveen. There it is. Bam. Okay, there goes <laughs> my... I just moved that. Uh, there goes my anvil. Alright, let's get over here and quick make another one. I'm back by the snake. Jeez Louise. Got it. Alright, let's get away from that snake because, man, it's annoying. I uh, say so the chickens are less annoying, so... All right, so uh, we got Prince Naveen is in here. We got Mr. Toad. Those two, I guess, were from Wind in the Wills. I'm thinking. I'm not too sure. Uh, and then, of course, you know it's coming. Pepe. There's Pepe the Frog. I might actually type that whole thing in. Actually, no, I'll just leave it as Pepe. All right, so there's Pepe. That's good. And then we got one... Oops, we got one more name tag here. And that one's going to be... Uh, apparently, this name is from Nomeo and Juliet, which I get a kick out of. Uh, I, that's another thing that I have not seen. I might be completely missing out. Uh, but Nanette, it looks like, is uh, the name he listed there. So I'm going to go with that. There's your tree frogs right there. We got Kermit. We got Mr. Toad, Prince Naveen, Pepe, and N Nanette. So thank you, Irrelevant, for those names. Much appreciated. I'm definitely going to be adding them to the exhibit. Um, so let's go ahead and replace my anvil. And let's grab the frogs themselves. So we're just going to line these guys up right underneath this. Just like so. And then I'm going to drop all the stuff back in there. Okay, there it is. Tree frog, tree frog, tree frog. We got a bunch of them. All right, so they, I, this is like the most animals I'm squirting into one exhibit. Uh, and it's uh, it's like the smallest exhibit. But it doesn't really matter because they're really tiny. So let me sleep real quick so I don't get blown up while I'm putting these guys in there. Because, man, that would be unfortunate. I get them all in there. Everyone's happy. And then a bloody creeper comes and boom, blows them up. So, all right. So let's get the, uh, let's get the glass first because I kind of need to make sure these guys stay in there. In fact, I might uh, let's just skip that one right there because I think I'll look fine without it. Although, what does it look like with it in there? Does it like meld everything together and it's easier to see, or does it just create? Oh, actually, it kind of does. If I remove this, what does this look like? I mean, is there uh, is there any difference whatsoever? I don't think there's any difference whatsoever. <laughs> so I'll save on some glass and just do this because uh, yeah. 
Yeah, you don't. Uh, well, actually, there's that right there. You do see. Hold on. What? What? Let me do halvesies. I'm trying to figure this out on the fly. I mean, you do right here. You'd see it, but right here it looks fine. I think I'm gonna add that just because uh, it kind of helps camouflage in the rest of this. I could actually add glass right here, and no one would know the difference actually, which I might do. Um, let's drop that in there. See, like if I, because I don't have anything here, so what if I just did this, and then you wouldn't actually be able to see it. It would look like it's fine. Yeah, see, that looks fine. Okay. All right, so let's uh, drop this in here. Now, I'm going to probably put them somewhere in back so they don't all escape, but I do need to get all the frogs and the name tags on my hotbar, at least as much of them as I can. I don't feel like I need to trank any <laughs> any uh, frogs, uh, but I wouldn't mind knowing if these are... Uh, oops, I wouldn't mind knowing if these are male or female, just for uh, my own knowledge. Um, but to do that, I need the book. Got to grab the book. All right, so last one I got I to gotta drop in here still. All right, so... Let's go to uh, setting one down. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I caught the tree frog. Oh my god, okay, that scared me so bad. He did drop frog legs when I whacked him with a stick. Okay, so he was suffocating. Now, was he suffocating because I placed him too close to a block, or was he suffocating because of the path block? Because if it's a path block, I'm removing those things in a heartbeat. This one right here isn't next to any block. Okay, no, he was suffocating because he was there. Okay, what are you anyway? You are a male, okay? Uh, let's name you Kermit. <laughs> All right, so Kermit, welcome to the exhibit. Let's get this one down here. This one's going to be Nanette. There it is. Now, what are you? Are you a male or female? You're a male also. Do we have a male name? Mr. Toad, perfect. Um, okay, Mr. Toad, you might want to calm down just a little bit. All right, let's uh, drop that guy up here to get him off there. Oh, they're trying to escape immediately, aren't they? Um, let's actually close myself in here so they can't go anywhere. I'll bust my way out of here in a little bit. Um, now, I don't think any of these are poison dart frogs. <laughs> these are just tree frogs. Because otherwise, I could be in, I could be in trouble. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's drop another one down in here. Oh yeah, it's just like the other one. Uh, what uh, what are you? Oh, this one sounds different though. This is a female. Okay, so what we got? Nanette. Yeah, let's name him. Let's name her Nanette. Uh, let's get that off the hot bar if I can. Which you know, I can't. I'll do that though for right now. And we got two more tree frogs. Yeah, we got two more. I'm gonna put a bunch of them in here. All right, what are you? You are a female as well. So uh, you want to be Pepe or, or Prince Naveen? I guess it should be Princess Naveen, but you're Prince Naveen now. Uh, <laughs> Prince Naveen is, is totally a dude. Um, or is uh, totally a female. So, all right, let's drop this last one in here. It looks similar to the other one. He kind of has the lazy eyes like Pepe, too, and you're going to be Pepe. Uh, what are you, Pepe? You're a female as well. <laughs> all right, so we got tree frogs galore now. Holy cow. All right, let me, let me get out of here quickly if I can. Bam. Done. Tree frogs have been added. We have tree frogs, people. There are five of them in their total. We've got three red-eyed ones and two lemur ones, I think is what they call them. So, yes. Hopefully they are happy in their new exhibit. Uh, and hopefully you guys are happy with the new exhibit. Now, there's going to, like I said, there's going to probably be one more exhibit here or something else. Some kind of small animal similar to the tree frogs. I'll find something. There's got to be something uh, in this in this mod pack for sure. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this, actually. I think I'm going to wrap this episode up here, though, because uh, that's what I wanted to do. I want to get the tree frogs in, and they are in now. Voila. So if you did enjoy this one, please be sure to smash that like button, as it really, really helps me out a lot. And, you know, thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching. And from all of the tree frogs here, have a wonderful day, and bye-bye.